Hello everyone, welcome back to BF Expective once again. Before starting the video, I would like to share some mind blowing course on Unreal Engine. It's an advanced special effect course on natural special effects like day to night, thunder, rain, and snowfall, like all kind of natural effects. This is all in one tutorial for all of you guys. So if you are interested in this Unreal Engine course, so please go and check out the course details. Link in the description below. You can go and check out, and you will get 79% off right now. So please go and check out the link some of you are in some confused that when you are importing any custom 3d models from the internet or by creating your own when you are importing this the material is not enable means the material is completely white so in this video we will solve this problem so let's check this out so here we are inside of unreal engine and this is my project so if i press Control space here you can see i have not imported any 3d model or textures here this is only a folder okay there is nothing here so now we will import our 3d model from the internet or you can use your own custom that you have made in other 3d softwares okay so here to show you i am downloading this couch model from the cg trader website okay and here in the right side you can see textures option is available and all 3d format are also available okay so I have already downloaded these textures and also the FBX format and in this thumbnail you can see the textures are also showing. Okay, so I have already downloaded and here is my folder that I have downloaded. This is the FBX file and this one is the textures. Okay, all these are textures. So let's import this all. So we will minimize let's control space and here i am going to press import first i will import the 3d model so press import and select your 3d model okay so this one and if you like you can make it as in a night and then click import okay then let's cancel this and again you can see all the 3d models are now imported now we will import our textures okay so i have already created the folder you can simply right click here and just click on new folder okay so i will go inside this so here i am going to drag and drop all the folders okay so let's minimize this and i will simply you can import also from here but here we have lots of textures folders so i am simply select this all and drag and drop this to here and all the folders will be imported okay so let's click ok to this okay so now you can see all the textures are imported okay so first we will go to our 3d models you can see this texture each came out that is white color let me show you you can see there is no textures and this is simply white chrome the original texture of that couch is not loaded so what we have to do so first we will first we will select our all the meshes from this to this you can move it to separate folder so let's create a new folder to this for the 3d model okay so it will be easy for us so simply move this to here move here okay so inside this our model so select this all and simply drag and drop here and now you can see the texture is not loaded I mean the material is not loaded here but in the thumbnail it's showing there is some materials so no worries we have some ideas for that we will solve that let's scale it up and rotate it okay so now we will create our material intents that is the important things okay so here you can see there is different questions here and the couch is another this one is the stand okay so different meshes have different textures or materials 
so let's create one by one from our downloaded textures okay so let's go to control space and now we will go to this textures option that we have imported the folders okay so first i will go to this couch textures and here you can see textures are available but material is not available we cannot drag and drop and use this okay this will be like this okay so what we have to do let's undo this so let's delete this one here we have to create our material intents so simply right click material and you can rename this anything like fabric okay and just double click here let's maximize and now you have so much simple process simply control space from here to here all the textures not this one okay from here to where select all of this and simply drag and drop this to here okay so everything is now in our in our node okay so now our process is connect everything to this okay so let's see what is this one here you can see this is nrm format means normal so we will take it to here and connect this with the normal simple okay and again we will select this one let's see what is this this is col means color so we will connect this to base color okay again we will select this one and this one is showing ao just see the name of this textures okay and you can understand whatever this texture file will be simply connect to that one in the right side okay so now i will take this this is ambient occlusion you can see here ao and i will connect this to ambient occlusion okay this is displacement we don't need this and this one is glossiness you can use this in roughness okay that's all you can delete this displacement map so that's all this is the process this is a process for all all model and all textures if you are not finding any material then create the material intents by using all the downloaded textures okay this is the process so now we will simply save this and close this one and now we have this material is ready okay you can see this is ready so simply drag and drop this here let's change the light okay now you can see use anywhere use as in the internet the thumbnail you seen okay so let's go to another texture to like this one fabric orange and here also we will create the material in same process so right click material i'm not going to rename this again so double click and then i will drag and drop all of this and simply here okay so this is our wait this is our normal map so connect to this this is our height map means displacement ignore this this is our diffuse map here you can see diffuse diffuse means color okay diffuse albedo or color map color format will be all go to base color okay and then this one is our roughness and so let's select the roughness here and this one last one sorry this is our ambient occlusion so i will select this to here ambient occlusion let's delete this one this height map delete this one okay so arrange this according to your wish okay and this one is our roughness and select this to roughness that's all complete this is the process you can create the material instance using all the textures that you have downloaded with the 3d models from any website
okay so let's close this one and now we will use this to here here and here okay so so this is the way you can create the material instance so here we have other textures also okay so this is for today's video guys if you like this video if this video is helpful for you please give a thumbs up to this video and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel for more unreal engine and visual effects tutorials coming soon so see you again have a nice day